एवरीवन टुडे आई विल बी टेकिंग अ शॉर्ट टॉपिक ऑन कार्सिनोजेनेसिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी व्हाट इज कार्सिनोजेनेसिस सो हियर इज द डेफिनेशन दैट कार्सिनोजेनेसिस और ऑंकोजेनेसिस और ट्यूमरोजेनेसिस मींस मैकेनिज्म ऑफ इंडक्शन ऑफ ट्यूमर्स सो व्हाट डज दिस मींस दैट द प्रोसेस the process of formation of a tumor that how does how a tumor is formed now we will see the pathogenesis of cancer so they are chemical carcinogens which causes chemical carcinogenesis chemical carcino genesis physical carcinogen causes physical carcinogenesis and biological carcinogens causes biological carcinogenesis so this is nothing but how a tumor is formed so for forming a tumor a carcinogen is required a carcinogen is something which causes tumor so we will see the mechanism exactly what is chemical carcinogenesis so before starting i would like to tell you that whenever there is a formation of tumor it requires some agents so the action of carcinogenesis how does it begins so there are agents there are agents what are these agents these are either directly acting these are either directly acting agents or indirectly acting agents now what are directly acting agents these directly acting agents are nothing but they do not require metabolism so they do not require metabolism so they do not require metabolism what are these indirectly acting agents these indirectly acting agents which require metabolism for the formation of tumor so whenever there is the metabolism of indirectly acting agent there is formation of tumor but in directly acting agent there is no metabolism hence the it attacks the target cell directly and leads to the formation of tumor so as now i have explained you what are directly acting agents and what is indirectly acting agents these are the initiators so they initiate the formation of tumor cells now what do they do is they attack a target cell so suppose there is a tissue in the target cell that is that will be your target cell so it attacks the target cells and what are these target cells they are reactive electrophiles so what happens is so these directly acting agents so these directly acting agents are reactive electrophiles what is reactive electrophiles they are electrophilic they are electrophilic means they are electron loving they are electrophilic they are electrophilic means they are electron loving so what do they do is they damage the dna so now what happens is they damage the dna because they are electron rich they contain more electrons so the electrophile they damage the dna which contains more electron if they contain more electron they are damaged they are permanently damaged hence the target cell it will be a damage in the dna so in initiation we can see it is fast it is irreversible it is transmitted to daughter cells so it is transmitted to daughter cells 
so once there is a damage to the dna it is initiated the damage has occurred now it the cell is initiated now it is called as an initiated cell so once it is initiated it encourages the clonal proliferation of altered cell so once the initiated cell is targeted it transfers this tumorogenic material or it transfers the information to the other clonal cells that is to the daughter cells so one cell which is targeted it targets the other cells and this target cell clones so daughter cells are formed with which are tumor cells so it encourages the clonal proliferation of the altered cell so these are the promoters so this is the promoters so these are the forball the esters the hormones and the phenols so the first step is initiation the second step is promotion so what is promotion it is non mutagenic it increased cell proliferation the promoter must be present for week months years in order to be infective so here you need to know that for promotion to occur the promoter must be present at least for more than a week or it should be present for years then only this promotion gets to the next step so you have to note down here that this step is always reversible why it is always reversible if the promoter is less than a week so this can be a reversible stage the tumor cells can form normal cells but now if the promoter cells are for more than a year they form pre neoplastic cell or they benign cell so the cancer cells have already developed now after they become benign they become malignant means they spread more rapid so this is called as progression so the genetic and epigenetic mechanism cell proliferation is independent from the presence of stimulus and it is irreversible note that progression is always irreversible and it is quite fast so now what happens is suppose this is an directly acting agent and this acts a target cell so this is a target cell it has acted upon this target cell now what happens is there is initiation so this could be dna this could be dna so now what happens this the directly acting agent is an elect electrophile it is a reactive electrophile which which is electrophilic means it love electrons and dna which is a pool of electrons which is a pool of electrons it goes and takes up the electron from the dna once it has taken the electron from the dna it damages the dna the dna is damaged once the dna is damaged the cell is initiated now this in the normal cell will get converted into a tumor cell now once this tumor cell has converted so this will form daughter cells so these daughter cells will be tumorogenic so this this part is initiation and this part is promotion once these daughter cells have become benign once these daughter cells have become benign they turn to malignancies means they keep on dividing they turn to malignancies and they keep on dividing so these cells which are formed they are the tumor cells so they are the neoplastic cells 
or they are the malignant cells so as you have seen that there is first initiation first there is initiation then there is promotion and then there is progression thank you